Good afternoon. This is a News 3 update. I'm Jim Condellis. Coming up tonight on News 3 at 6, anger and resentment over children not getting the right education. That's how parents of special education students in DeSoto County say they're feeling. Gina Curry will have the school system's response. In our Consumer Watch report, put your hand on the video screen. That's a new way of shopping, and Mary Beth Conley will show you where and how. And the Knowledge Bowl Showdown, all tonight on News 3 at 6. Once upon a time, a little girl had to have surgery. Daddy, what if I get sleepy? The Sandman helps you sleep. With sand? No, the Bonner Sandman is a pediatric anesthesiologist. Anesthesia what? He's a special doctor who protects you while you sleep. You don't look like my sand man. I'm your sand woman. Only Labonner has a staff of pediatric anesthesiologists with special training and experience to help your child sleep safely. For all pediatric surgery, ask for Labonner. Great family fun never stops coming at you at the Pine Mountain Jamboree Entertainment Complex. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Pine Mountain Jamboree. We said I was on no the Pine Mountain Jamboree in Eureka Springs, Arkansas's oldest family music show. It's the most fun the Ozarks can offer. We'll see you there. Good evening. This is News Brief. I'm Claudia Barr. Two people are dead and two injured tonight in a car accident in East Memphis. We'll have details at 10. A 47-year-old Arkansas man who was given the death sentence today for killing two people in Russellville, Arkansas, says he wants to be executed quickly. We'll have more on the Gene Simmons story tonight at 10. Police are investigating the murder of a security guard for a school bingo game. The body of 67-year-old Esau Pettis was found in his car today. Also tonight, we'll tell you why it's thumbs up on the INF treaty between the U.S. and Soviets and thumbs down on private talks going on between President Reagan and Panamanian strongman Manuel Noriega. We'll have all the news, sports, and weather tonight at 10. Join us. 